250, we just plug 250 into the PGCO2? Yeah, so for example, if we use this charge balance equation, we're going to come up with a pH that's very close to the ocean. The Math Academy was the brainchild of our former assistant dean, Dr. Thomas Calhoun. At the time, he had a grant that was able to pay for the program. One day I was walking down the hall, and uh, Thomas Calhoun stopped me in the hall, and he says, uh, hey, say, Dave, he says, uh, I'm thinking about this program where we bring in high school juniors and we give them a real strong academic experience and, and give them uh, an opportunity to see what engineering is all about. To take the students who were really strong students, who were very interested in engineering, to help them brush up on their math and, and expose them to college life, um, expose them to the kinds of rigorous work that they need to do in, in a university in order to succeed in an engineering program. A lot of the students from my high school weren't in the best financial position. I think half of us were on uh, free or reduced lunch. And so having a free summer that we could come spend at the university was just amazing. I mean, we didn't have to worry about paying for it. It was something that was provided to us because we earned it on merit. I've worked hard, but now that I'm here, I'm like, yeah, there's a big gap between high school and college math. And so it's, the math academy lets you know early and like gives you tips. So it just prepares you and it's pushing you to do more work. and striving to be better. I definitely think it was a resume builder. This is my second year getting the ALVA internship at Boeing. They spend about six hours a day in math, either in lectures or in um, group study sessions where they're working through many, many, many math problems. When I came here, I was like, I, was like, I have pretty solid math skills. First algebra worksheet, and I got it back, and I was like, I've never gotten this low score in my life. And so I realized that algebra and pre-calculus are like a big foundation for any other math you do. So just being here every day, you know, worksheets and worksheets and then revising those worksheets so you get them right. Now I, I look at problems differently. It's not just about getting the right answer. It's about how to get to the right answer. Now they understand what it takes to be successful. That's the math part. And then there's the engineering explorations component. Global warming and climate change and just all these different things. Engineers have to deal with it. And if there's no engineers, how are you going to fix the problem? It's for the first time we have a gender balance. This year, they're underrepresented minorities. They're very, very strong students. They, the average high school GPA is, you know, nearly a 3.9. Everybody should be coming in, women, you know, like, and minorities as well, because they bring a new perspective. We had 90 applications for just 32 spots, so it was a very competitive process to be admitted to the Math Academy. And it's really a special kind of student who is willing to spend a month of their last summer um, doing math. It was a really good decision on my part. Like, I would have liked to stay at home and sleep, but looking back on it, it was much more productive and much more fun. I'm hoping to stay as involved as I can because I really think it's a valuable program. And I've heard that now they have to pay for housing, or as in my year, they didn't. I think anything I can do to help ease that burden, I want to try. This is a great way to invest in the future pool of uh, engineers, but in particular, a diverse pool of engineering. The Math Academy will produce really good math and science students now, and they're going to pursue a career so in engineering, and we need engineers. So I'm reorganizing my college list already, just by being here for a week. It's awesome.